Hey, what is up guys? Teacher Keith here. This is my third installment in the ongoing series of Chinese history. Um, <coughs> this one is examining the Han Dynasty. Uh, so without further ado, let's get to the material. Okay, here we have the Han Dynasty saw an age of economic prosperity and witnessed a significant growth of the money economy first established during the Zhou Dynasty. Uh, 1050 to 256 BC. The coinage issued by the central government mint in 119 BC remained the standard coinage of China until the Tang Dynasty, 618 to 907 AD. The period saw a number of limited institutional innovations uh, to finance its military campaigns and the settlement of newly conquered frontier frontier territories. The Han government nationalized the private salt and iron industries in 117 BC, though these government monopolies were later repealed during the Eastern Han Dynasty. Science and technology during the Han period saw significant advances, including the process of paper making, the nautical steering ship rudder, the use of negative numbers in mathematics, uh, the raised relief map, the hydraulic powered armillary, armillary spear for astronomy, and, <coughs> and a seismometer employing a, an inverted pendulum that could be used to discern the cardinal direction of distant earthquakes. The Han Dynasty is known for the many conflicts it had with the Xiongnu, a nomadic steppe confederation to the dynasty's north. The Xiongnu initially had the upper hand in these conflicts. They defeated the Han in 200 BC and forced the Han to submit as a de facto inferior and vassal partner for several decades while continuing their military raids on the dynasty's borders. This changed in 133 BC during the reign of Emperor Wu. Uh, when Han forces began a series of intensive military campaigns and operations against the Xiongnu. The Han ultimately defeated the Xiongnu in these campaigns, and the Xiongnu were forced to accept vassal states as Han tributaries. Additionally, the campaigns brought the Hushi Corridor and the Tarim Basin of Central Asia under the Han control. Uh, split the Xiongnu into two separate confederations and helped establish the vast trade network known as the Silk Road, which reached as far as the Mediterranean world. The territories north of Han's borders were later overrun by the nomadic Shanbei Confederation. Emperor Wu also launched successful military expeditions in the south, uh, annexing Nanye uh, in one uh, 111 BC and Dian in 109 BC. He further expanded Han territory into the northern Korean peninsula where Han forces conquered uh, Goso, Goso Xi'an and established the Xuantu and Lilong uh, commanderies in 108 BC. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, that is uh, that is my third installment in the ongoing series of Chinese history. That was about the Han Dynasty. Okay, so um, do me a, do me a favor, like and subscribe, <coughs> and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye, bye bye.